In the beginning, there was darkness, a cold void, until creation. Somewhere amongst the ever-expanding universe, 13 billion years later, a flicker of life would emerge. As time went on, civilizations rose and fell. History has shown us that civilizations are not immortal. We've learned that anything can wipe out an empire and leave no answers behind. Revolution after revolution, we've come exponentially further in the speed of which we advance the human race. This civilization as we know it needs a fatal upgrade to eliminate fraud, inflation, foreign exchange fees, unbanked populations, and an inefficient payment system. This is the digital revolution. We think this civilization has made it further than any other civilization on Earth. But to really understand how we got here, Let's take a deep dive into the past. Blockchain technology has been attempted and failed due to the lack of support. Digicast was prominently the first digital currency. Digicast went bankrupt in 1998 after failing to persuade banks to adopt its technology during that period. Wei Dai, a Chinese author and engineer, was the first to define modern cryptocurrencies in 1998. In 2009, after the Great Recession, Satoshi Nakamoto released a white paper outlining the fundamentals of blockchain, and alongside that, Bitcoin was published. Whether Satoshi is an individual or a group of individuals, the true identity of Satoshi is still unrevealed. Bitcoin became the first modern cryptocurrency since it was the first publicly used method of trade to combine decentralized control, user privacy, blockchain-based record keeping, and built-in scarcity. Someone sold 10,000 Bitcoins in exchange for two pizza slices, a transaction that in today's value of $20,000 per Bitcoin would equal to over $200 million. Cryptocurrency had its first attack. Bitcoin is hacked and exposes a huge vulnerability. As Bitcoin grows in popularity and encrypted money gains traction, the first rival cryptocurrencies emerge. Known as alternative coins or altcoins, they aim to improve the original Bitcoin architecture by providing faster transaction speeds, anonymity, and some other benefits. Namecoin and Litecoin were the first altcoins that competed with Bitcoin. Meanwhile, a man by the name of Ross Ulbridge created an underground cyber black market known as Silk Road. This was the first dark web market of the internet era. Using cryptocurrency to conduct transactions for anonymity, the Silk Road was then shut down by the FBI and arrested Ulbridge and charged with money laundering, computer hacking, conspiracy to traffic narcotics, narcotics, and in an attempted murder for hire for at least five people because they were threatened to reveal the truth behind the Silk Road. Those charges were then dropped. As of today, he remains in jail with two life sentences plus 40 years without parole. WordPress was the first large retailer to accept Bitcoin as payment. This led to a ripple of companies to follow in their footsteps in the years to come. Bitcoin reaches over $1,000 for the first time. Then immediately after, the price drops dramatically causing mayhem. The world's largest Bitcoin exchange goes down, along with 850,000 Bitcoins that were never returned to their owners, an amount of which today the total value would equal to 17 billion US dollars. The Winklevoss brothers who disputed Zuckerberg over the creation of Facebook took their newly acquired crypto wealth that was funded by their settlement and created a crypto exchange. While they did not succeed in the rights to Facebook, they created one of the world's most popular crypto exchanges. Meanwhile, the world's first Bitcoin ATM goes live in Vancouver, Canada. After going live in 2015, Ethereum gains massive popularity with its new smart contract development that introduces the DAO concept and the non-fungible token. Simply put, designed to be difficult to take down by a single entity, the DAO is an organization that is not controlled by a centralized governing head, but rather by the token holders of the DAO itself via software with set rules and laws. The non-fungible token would be used to verify authenticity of ownership with a unique digital identifier that cannot be copied, substituted, or divided, and is 
recorded in the blockchain. In other words, selling and signing over the deed to your house can go from a one to three month process to 30 seconds. This will lead Ethereum to become the second best performing cryptocurrency, and many speculate today that it will become the king of cryptocurrency. Governments start to take cryptocurrency seriously. One Bitcoin is worth more than one ounce of gold. There are now over 1,000 cryptocurrencies listed on CoinMarketCap. After Bitcoin peaked at just under 20,000 US dollars, the crypto market crashed and Bitcoin reached a low of 3,100 US dollars. This was led by a number of factors such as countries or companies implementing restrictions or banning certain actions around the crypto space along with the successful and failed attempts at hacking and stealing from crypto exchanges. The uncertainty of cryptocurrency is now settling in. Bitcoin breaks the all-time high again, over $19,000, eventually hitting $67,000 per Bitcoin later in 2021. Coinbase goes public on the Nasdaq. Decentralized finance takes off, growing from $1 billion in locked assets to $14 billion, and Bitcoin becomes the legal tender of El Salvador. Tesla is now accepting cryptocurrency payments, only to then reverse this decision on Bitcoin until it becomes environmentally friendly. Tesla is currently only accepting Dogecoin. The collective cryptocurrency market cap hit over 1.7 trillion US dollars, which is similar to Italy's GDP as the ninth largest economy in the world. Bitcoin's energy consumption through mining are estimated to be at a 150 terawatt hours of electricity annually. That is more than the entire country of Argentina with a population of 45 million people. With an estimated 65 megatons of carbon dioxide into the air annually, those emissions are comparable to the entire country of Greece. That is just with Bitcoin alone and not factoring in the remaining proof of work cryptocurrencies. To combat the power consumption and upgrade Ethereum to a faster network while allowing for innovation to continue, the Ethereum network switched from proof of work to proof of stake, where nodes that hold more of the network's currency are selected via an algorithm to process the transactions on the blockchain. This lowered the energy required for Ethereum by 99.95%. This resulted in reducing the global energy consumption by an estimate of 0.2%. The crypto bear market is here. Several large crypto exchanges have filed for bankruptcy. Terra Luna worth more than 40 billion US dollars virtually lost all of its value in seven days. Thousands have been laid off from cryptocurrency companies, Bitcoin mining farms and bullish crypto firms selling thousands of Bitcoins due to weak markets in order to cover operational costs or to stay solvent. Centralized crypto exchanges have frozen withdrawals and investors panic at the bloody markets and ruthless times. Will crypto adaptation come sooner than expected? Will institutional money continue to study Bitcoin? What does the next 20 years of your life look like because of crypto? Stay tuned. For the next video, we'll experience what the future will look like in 20 to 30 years when crypto has taken over. Until then, guys, keep building. Thanks for watching.